Paul Coral just went to grab some food and instead his mother has having a fight. And straight after that, Coral is like, who am I? Who am I? Oh, and we got our first pen pal reply. Hey, my little peaches. Welcome back to another episode of our Not So Berry series, which I've actually remembered to do pink lighting for Pink Gen, which is what we are on right now with a castle of Blossom and Lil Coral. Coral whose hair, I have had a go at doing a recolor of that style that I just, I really like the style on him. It wasn't as curly as I wanted to go on him, but it does have a wave to it. And I like the idea that he's trying to like style it himself. And I don't know, I just felt like this hair really, really suited him. So I had a go at recoloring it. It's not perfect. I did want it to be a little bit more ashy than this, but it kind of has like roots and a little bit of an end color. I basically just got one of the blondes in Photoshop and like changed the slider so it ended up a little bit more pink and I'm pretty happy with the end result but let me know what you guys think in the comments below is the hairstyle I just really liked on him and I thought it looked really really pretty so I'm glad he's got that hairstyle now and we're gonna be continuing with pink gen today so thank you guys all so much for your tips last episode one thing that I am gonna get these guys doing is you mentioned that the way that I get the postcards is I use the web to find a pen pal how do I find myself a pen pal find a pen pal okay if I find pen pals then they can try and get postcards from the pen Pals based on where they are. There is a lot to collect, but if we do manage to do it, then that completes part of Pink Gen. The other thing you guys said is they're quite tough to do. So I thought since we're doing this, it's like dual air at the moment. Honestly, I may just keep it dual air throughout, but you guys can't decide between them. Honestly, neither can I. And there's a part of me that's afraid that people get angry either way. And I just mentally don't want to be dealing with that. So I am going to go ahead and at least dual air them for as long as I want. Then I will pick whichever one I am enjoying playing with the most. I'm sure the other one will be very much engaged in the story as well. So we will collect those um, postcards together with the two of them. And I will also get them working in the wellness school. Also, obviously, Blossom started this a little bit already, but Blossom was like, you know, a very... Look at the kitten running around the apartment. Which one's this? Oh my gosh. Oh, what's, what is he? Which one are you? Artie zooming around the apartment. And are we sad again? Someone else died? Oh my gosh. You're about to be sadder in a moment's time, Keenan, because I got some sad money related news for you, friendo. I can't keep up with this kid and the families and the deaths and oh geez I do not know but yeah let me fin finish one throat process then the next one then move on to the next one so obviously Blossom has been very protected by her brother growing up but she's a teenager she's starting to get a little bit wise to the fact that something is a little bit overly chaotic in this chaotic household and I like the idea that as she notices this and she notices just how much her brother does and she's already you know started using her dad's yoga mat to help try and find a little bit more zen in her life that maybe she starts encouraging Coral to do the same and we start to get a little bit more of her looking out for him just as much as he's looked out for her as a kid now that she's a little bit older so I think that would be really nice to do and when I added the kittens last episode I didn't realize that it also added six thousand pounds the household funds which I obviously immediately spent on nonsense like Keenan's gaming ma even though he's not very good at it as you can see so I am now saying that they have a £6,000 debt to pay. So I will be trying to pay off a £6,000 lump payment very, very soon. Oh my gosh, what kind of low effort is this? Oh, it's because you're sad. There's something that I really like about Sims that I didn't really truly notice before. And that is that the animations are different for almost every activity based on how the Sim feels when they do it. And like... That's high effort. I love that a lot. I think that's really, really cool. I noticed it in my vampire series on Twitch and... I've noticed it now with this series too, so. Well done, Sims team. This is a really nice little detail. So yeah, 6,000 pounds to pay back as well. Uh, what a rush. The boost of adrenaline is making Blossom feel amazing. What item in this house is making them feel that way? I don't get what it is. What is making you guys feel so energized? Is it literally Asha's ghost? I have no idea what is making them feel like this energized and vibey. I don't understand what it is. I genuinely don't understand what in this house does this. But everyone in this house is just, it's just pumped so pumped and happy okay so worryingly i've just gone into coral he's calling a stranger you know what if you're so interested in strangers why don't you be the one who goes ahead and realizes that you can actually find pen pals online and maybe suggest to blossom like look we're having trouble finding him friends in school but not everywhere is like that okay who did you call i'm interested to know now that was fun i should call strangers myself and see how it goes okay worrying he's like look look, look. we find it hard to find people in school why don't as like a nice little way to just take our heads out of school, take our heads out of nonsense in the household, and take our heads out of my Shuno, where, you know, we've kind of helped our parents rob a bunch of citizens and they sort of low key hay us. Why don't we have a look at other places in the world, try and find some friends from overseas that don't 
know all the baggage that we come with. Um, Blossom's like, yeah, I like that idea. Let's go ahead and try and find ourselves some pen pals online. And then why don't we spend some time with our little babies as well? So this little baby with the flat ears, Artie, is Blossom's. So why don't you go ahead and do some hugs and some play with laser pointers? This little high ear baby is yours. This is bubblegum. So why don't you do the same thing? Have a little play and a little hug. Because the kitty cats are obviously absolutely Aww. adorably cute. So we should be making full, taking full advantage of their adorableness and also the fact that you guys have matching eyes to hair color. Here is his new hair from the front. I think it's cute. I think it suits him. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Oh, and the other great tip you guys gave me, by the way, is you mentioned that for Clem, for promotions in the future, she's gonna need high handiness skill. So I am gonna go ahead and make sure that we learn a lot of handiness. So anytime something else breaks, I'm gonna get Clem to fix it. I know I said that we'd never fix things in this apartment, but that's kind of before I realized that we were gonna need that skill. I will get Clem to fix things going forward, just so that I can try and get the handiness up, because that's the last thing I've got to do for Orange Gen. Reach level 8 of the criminal career. Witness the death, which a bunch of you guys are telling me to cheat because she's witnessed like 10 deaths at this point. But also reach level 10 of the criminal career. We're currently on level 7, so I'll make sure that she's got that on lockdown too. So I think today is going to be the kids' first day at high school. So I'm going to get them both to work on the homeworks because they were A grades in school. I like that, you know, they're both going to at one point go into very creative professions. So I want them to like focus on making sure they get really good grades in school. And I can kind of see the fact that they'll get into writing as a bit of an escapism from the chaos of their lives. Like their dad playing with the football, AI football that we definitely cannot afford. AI? VR. VR football that we can't afford while the fox screams at us and our mum comes and complains about I don't even know what. Are you coming to help them with their homework? I've never seen it. No, okay, you have to distract them from- That makes so much more sense. I thought she came over to help them with the homework, which is just- no, you probably are not very good at that. But no, she came over to distract them instead. Chit-chatting about phone calls and all sorts of nonsense. Oh, and it actually isn't going to send them to school today. I think because they aged up overnight. So they don't have high school today, but you do have high school on Monday. So I guess they'll spend some time mastering writing and wellness skills. This feels like the right things like this and this feel like the good things to focus on at this point in their lives. This stuff I think will come on during the later part of their lives. Oh, and look at this. I can't believe I told someone about it. What did I do from peeing myself? She distracted them by telling them about the time that she peed herself. <laughs> Just, just clem things. Just when you're clem mom's clem, this is just on par for course. And okay, literally buying this was the worst idea ever. <laughs> but also the best. But Keenan, because he's feeling sad, has spent the whole day inside VR. He is not with us right now. He is not in the real world. He is in the virtual world. Just catching balls and all together looking very just uninterested with life. Arnold Arnold is here. I don't know why he's here, but I welcome it because he's very close to death and I would quite like him to die. So are you just gonna throw that on our floor? Bruh. Well, you are as despicable now as you were the day that you moved in. I'm gonna uh, tell him that his mother is a llama. Were you raised by llamas? Is that why you throw all your trash on the floor? And I wonder if I can, if I fight him, if he's old, will it like tire him out? I don't know, I'm gonna try it. Yeah, so the fact that- <laughs> Poor Coral just went to grab some food and instead his mother has having a fight in the hallway. Just normal things, just just regular stuff going on in this household. It's just the way of the world. Just the way of the world. Makina's like, oh, finally, something more interesting than my video games. Oh, who's gonna win? Who's gonna win? Oh, did you actually get- Oh, okay, we'll go in again. But you know, I'm glad- I'm glad it's finally pulled Keenan out of his slump. <laughs> so that's nice. We're doing it for entertainment value. We're doing it because we are a good wife. But the kids are just like, really? Really? Like, is this honestly what we've got to deal with growing up? I just don't even know. Oh, that helped your fitness skill though, so... <laughs> That's great. And straight after that, Coral is like, who am I? Who am I? Who am I? How have I been raised? Like, how am I supposed to figure things out when you two are like this? Who am I? Literally, who am I? And I feel like Clem is like, money. Money is the most important thing. You just need to get a high paying job. Like me and your father, we have been very sensible with our career choice. Why don't you go into the 
business, the f business career, high paying job. Okay, Coral. And oh, bless. Then uh, Blossom is like, I really want to be friends with somebody, but they don't want to be friends with me. And she's asking Clem again. I, c I feel like Clem would be like, look, I tried to force friends in school. Doesn't happen. Just find some people that are Egypts and like starting fires. That's what I did. You can't force friendship. So all in all, great advice. Great advice, Clem. <laughs> I love her for it. <gasps> oh, and we got our first pen pal reply. Spooky, scary. The new pen pal of mine is from Midnight Hollow. Wait, don't I, aren't I meant to get like a little thing? Aren't I meant to collect the postcards? Does that mean, how do I get the postcard though? Write letter to Midnight Hollow. Is this how I do it? Is this what I do? I'm gonna get her to tell Carl, like Carl. I know nonsense has happening outside, but come into the room, I've got an idea. I've got something cool to show you. So she's like, look, 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 look. I got a pen pal. I got a pen pal from Midnight Hollow. Look, look, look. And he's like, oh, I will check and see if I've got one too. I can't actually imagine him making such a nonsense noise, but you know what I mean. And Camille will like to come out, okay. And Coral is showing signs of the artist and every man personality types. That's cute. Okay, I'm gonna get him to also check for pen pal replies. And he's got a pen pal from Sunset Valley. I remember when everyone and their mother used to live in Sunset Valley. Times have changed. Can I search? Can I try and get two pen pals at the same time? This is such a new mechanic to me. I've literally never done it in Sims before. So this is kind of exciting. I can get him to write a letter to Sunset Valley and also try and find himself another pen, pen pal too. And we'll both try and get as many as we can. We've got all of this like hearing about other people's lives and other people's worlds to help them escape the nonsense of their own. Also, we've got a fox that would like to go on a walk. So is Camille here? She said she was gonna- Oh, geez. Camille- <laughs> Everyone is obsessed with this. Everyone is absolutely obsessed with it. Okay, I'm gonna make a little group together. And I like that Camila's come around because I feel like she's come around to like check on them. So I've like got them out the apartment just so that they can like sit and have a little chit chat with Camille. Because obviously since she's had a kid of her own, she's like, your guys' grown up technique wasn't like perfect. And I realized that now and I just want to make sure things are okay. I also love the idea that the family theorizes about aliens all the time, not realizing it's because they all have alien DNA. I'm gonna get him to complain about his recent meal like, oh my gosh, my mum like literally made us like a Sunday roast and put like sugar in it. Like so much sugar in it. And I've got um also Blossom coming over to chit chat as well. Taking Vixen out because Vixen needed a walk. <gasps> Ty is here as well. I feel like everyone is just like here to make sure the kids are okay. So yeah, I really like the idea that like, especially Camille with the new Babalaru is definitely checking in on them a bunch. And maybe they like mention about the fact that they've getting these pen pals and she's like, you know, be careful writing to people. But you know, creativity is in your blood. Your grandma, actually Molly was uh, a painter. She was incredible. So it doesn't surprise me one bit that you kids are creative. Definitely keep writing to your friends, build those writing skills. Because sometimes the only way to get out of like a crappy environment, like the one that you're in right now, is like through education, is through working hard. So maybe writing could be your guys' escape from all this. And don't forget you've always got family. I feel like when you tell kids to like, maybe do more studying, maybe do more writing, they're like, hmm, sounds really, really hard. She's like, yeah, but you're doing it anyway. Carl's like, yeah, maybe we should give it a go. Maybe we should give it a go with his new hair. Taking pictures of his muscles. <laughs> and as I get home, she's doing an evil laugh. Trolling the forums and the carts are freaking out about something. I'm not really 100% sure what. I just realized as well, they can't use this anymore. So I may as well just sell that. Also, I feel bad selling the tickets to the sim session. I feel like it's cheating to sell those tickets. So I'm not gonna sell those to help fill our debt needs. Instead, the kids might have to go ahead and get themselves a little part-time job, you know? It's character building. And it also means we can try and pay off the 6K debt. Oh my gosh. And as soon as I get home, Camille, it literally looks like she's writing, but I like the idea that she's checking all the pen pals stuff being like, are they who they say they are? There's no, there's no like personal information on these emails, is there? Okay, that's fine. Cause uh, I don't feel like Clem will be checking up on this kind of stuff. So it's good that Kami is around just to make sure the kids are staying safe. Cause pen pals can be lovely and cute and sweet, but you can never be too careful, can you? And oh my gosh, Ash played, the ghost of Ash, sorry, played on the new kit and now it is broken. Okay, I should probably try and get Clem to repair that. However, I'm gonna save. Cause I feel like I could get electrocuted giving this a go, but I do need her to increase her handiness skill. So let's try it out. I think you guys said I was gonna need handiness levels. Oh gosh, Ash, please stop this. Please stop this. I was gonna need handiness level six for this. Okay. She's not die. Oh, this is nerve wracking. This is super nerve wracking. Uh, Cause if my Sims die, then that kind of uh, help. She did want to help him with the homework, by the way. She just got distracted by a P story. 
Easily done. If my air dies, then that is just generally not great. So fingers crossed, we managed to just fix this. Keenan's home from work, $192. This is like a low paying job, the criminal job, isn't it? But to them, they think it's a high paid job. That's why they're like encouraging Coral to go into it. <gasps> and you did it, you fixed it. Well done. Okay, because she's done that and I have some stuff, I can upgrade the toilet as well, which is also going to give me a little bit of handiness. <gasps> Thank you guys so much for that tip because that would have come to bite me in the butt when I've got a bit further on, wouldn't it? <gasps> and the cans are uh, no cans anymore. Oh my gosh, it feels like you've only been cans for two seconds. Bubblegum's going first. Bubblegum is now a kitty cat. So here is how... Oh my gosh, I love bobtails, by the way. Here is how bubblegum looks. So this is a uh, coral. Coral's cat. I think I might give these cats... I'll try and make sure they have long lives because we did get them quite early. So this is bubblegum. And then... Artie, are you going to age up too? You're just num-numbing on some food. Okay, finish your foodies first then. I'm now getting her attempt to repair everything, by the way. <laughs> At 6 a.m., we've been all up all night. My sleep schedule as Clem is still very chaotic, which, you know, on par of the course. Perfect. <gasps> and we've got another pen pal. My new pen pal lives in Twinbrook. I've always been curious about their swamps. Oh my gosh, we'll have to write them a letter as well. Ask for postcard. <gasps> so we can start to ask for postcards once we've messaged them a few times. <gasps> That's really cool. Okay. Blossom's feeling tense because when she was a kid, she, oh, she's feeling flirty now, but she did have the resolution to finish off one part of her aspiration which unfortunately i just didn't get the chance to do like aspiration milestone and it was her child aspiration so i guess instead she's kind of thinking about her adult aspiration which she's also not gonna do because she'd have to be able to write two books and write for an hour while inspired just not gonna happen in the space of one day unfortunately and today is the final day which is a little bit sad but she is feeling flirty from having watched a romantic comedy on tv earlier today and while she didn't do her resolution as a child she's thinking Thinking about this idea of her resolutions as an adult. She's thinking about what Kami said about maybe using her creative outlet as a little bit of a positive for escaping her life. <gasps> He's feeling the exact same way. Okay, they're both super tense about the fact that they never managed to complete their childhood resolution. Okay, I would love this weekend to have them both have a go at start writing a book. It's their first book as a teenager. It's probably not even a book. It's probably like a, I don't know, just some story they upload online, some fanfic or something similar. But I feel like uh, since you watched Flirty TV today, I feel like Blossom will try and marry like a romance novel. You know, she's seen her parents' romance and that's like chaotic. And then she's seen this really overly idolized romance on TV. So she's going to try and write, imagining this super idealized romance based on what she's seen in a TV show, but it's probably not similar to real life, but she doesn't really have any good examples of what healthy relationships look like. So it's just like this fantasy version. So I'm going to have her have a go at doing that. Just going to be a short story. And then for Coral. Coral, who definitely sees things a lot more clearly than Blossom, is a little bit more of a realist, a little bit less of an idealist. Oh, sorry. It's asking me to name Blossom's book. So I'm going to call it The Princess Diaries. Volume one. Whereas Coral is, uh, yeah, he's a lot more realist, but also he actually has the unflirty. I already gave him that personality trait. Blossom does not have that yet. She'll get that when she ages up. So something I guess needs to happen to make her shy away from love. Cause right now she's kind of, um, you know, putting it on a bit of a pedestal. But for Coral, I'm also gonna get him to write a short story, take Kami's advice to heart, but his is not gonna be romance. He actually gets a few more options. So I'm gonna get him to write a non-fiction story. Cause that feels like it just suits his personality. A little bit more. I'm gonna get him to, his to be called the hidden villain. A candid account of an anonymous victim. Wow, it feels too heavy. It feels very heavy, but it's anonymous, which I've probably spelt wrong. I've definitely spelt villain wrong. But yeah, he's t he's kind of, instead for him, it's not like writing about a romance that he hopes he will find one day. It's actually writing. It's like almost therapeutic for him to just write out all the things that bother him about his childhood and about his parents and like just get it all out there anonymously and almost put it onto paper to get it out of his head and help himself start to heal a little bit. And hello, why has Artie not aged up yet? Artie, why are you at a completely different life stage to Bubblegum? You guys are meant to be the same age, but it seems like even when it comes to your cuts, Bubblegum growing up a little bit faster than Artie, the same as 
Coral grew up a little bit faster than Blossom. There are so many names, I'm getting confused. A bunny just walked into our household. I mean, flower bunny, very cute in certain households. I don't feel like we're a flower bunny household. I feel like Clem may beat you up if you come in and do that again. Okay, so Blossom has reached writing level four. This is one of the Arnolds, which worries me because the Arnolds are the family that uh, Clem hates. But yeah, Blossom's at level four and Coral is at level six. Oh, that's from doing it in school for so long. Okay, so they're actually both really good writers already, particularly Coral. He's a very good writer. Naturally, very good at that. Oh, finally, yes, 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 yes. Who's playing now? Some random, okay, weird. <laughs> but the other kitty cat's aging up. Go, 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 go. Oh, Camille's here. Oh, and Ty's here as well. And the Easter Bunny is here and Oh no, oh no, there we go! Another little kitty cat has aged up. So both of the cats are aged up now. I feel like, uh, yeah, it took Artie a whole extra day. Um, Blossom finished her short story. Very impressive, good job. <gasps> and Coral finished his as well! You guys both wrote a book! And things are just, again, kind of chaotic at home. So what I thought is I would get these guys to do a little travel. I feel like in my heart, they are the kind of people to put the cat on a lead and take them out with them. Um, which, by the way, Ali and I have totally done before. Oliver's really good on the lead. Darcy's terrible. And also Vixen, because I feel like Vixen needs a little chance to get away as well. I feel like they wouldn't leave the city as like freshly teened teenagers. So instead, I'm just going to go to Maishino Meadows over here. And since they're a bit older now, I feel like it kind of makes sense that we can like escape the house every now and again. Not something they could do too easily at kids other than when their parents force them to do a bake sale. Oh, and you've acquired the cooking skill. Good job. Uh, but yeah, now they're a bit older. I feel like it makes a bit more sense that they'd be able to get out the house a little bit more easily. And Blossom's cooked some food for them both. I think it's super interesting that when she actually was able to make a first ever dish herself, she cooked fruit. Like, literally something that isn't baked, like, dough, which is impressive. And also cooking for Coral, I really like as well. Like, now she is a little bit older, I kind of like the idea that it's... I feel like Coral will always be, like, the overprotective twin. But it's still kind of nice that the, that she's starting to be able to, like, look after him a little bit as well. So since it's, like, the flower fest and you can give each other a flower fest gift, I want her to be, like... It's my first ever, uh, like, book that I've written. I want her to, like, give it to him just in a kind of, like, you know, we can do this. There's there's more we can do. This is the first ever thing I've tried to write, so I want to show it to you. And I'm going to get him to show her his book as well, which kind of details their life a little bit so Blossom can get a little bit more of, like, an idea of the stuff that Coral noticed growing up that she perhaps didn't. It's probably not going to be, like, the easiest read in the whole world, but it's important that she knows stuff. I don't think it's fair to keep someone, like, in the dark their whole lives. And she can give him her book as well which is just him realizing and reading like, oh my gosh, she just desperately wants romance and love in her life, but we've had the worst role models for this ever. So this is probably uh, not going to be a perfect, I can't imagine her having perfect relationships, you know, but I also feel like he'll do whatever he can to make sure she does. Also, I feel like while she's looked at her parents and looked at TV and been like, I want perfect princess relationships, he's unflutty. So he's looked at his parents and been like, I don't ever want this. This looks terrible. I don't want ever to be in a relationship relationship in my whole life because it looks awful and I wanted to get them to play in the fountain just because it's like a silly child thing and they've not had that much opportunity in their life for silly child stuff especially Coral after looking after Blossom so much but now she's doing a little bit of a looking after of him as well it's like they can actually he can actually be a bit a bit more of a big kid which I think is super sweet and I've also got her to bring the yoga mat because it helped her just like having a way to de-stress distress and get away from the nonsense of real life a little bit so oh my gosh she's so tired she's had a little sleep on the fountain after that but it would be nice for him to have an opportunity to do the same thing and i have to build up the wellness skill which coral has now acquired oh and he's about to get attacked by bats as well great so yeah he's learning a little bit of the wellness skill too so there we go wellness coral and look at this generous surprise and giving spirit they feel super happy after giving each other gifts i just want wholesome sweet twins that literally would do anything for each other that's all i want so i'm gonna let his wellness get at least to uh level one level one wellness i think would be and then i think we'll probably be too cold to get any further but if he can at least get started on his little wellness journey they've got to get to level 10 so they'll be like floating in zenness by the end of it which i can't wait they deserve to um have like 
some zen. Okay, but now we are freezing to death. So please don't do that. Please switch to your warm clothes. And I'm gonna get him to toss a little coin in as well. Just to like... This has been like a little nice day for them. They got out the house. They wrote their first little books. He did some wellness. He's gonna toss a little coin and wish that they do get away and have nice lives together and that they can keep looking after each other as cute little twins. Cute little twin moments, because we love cute little twin moments and I just love this this twin bond. So with both of them, where we've worked on their writing skill. They've both got a bunch of pen pals and we can start receiving some postcards from at least one of each pen pal each now as well. We're on writing level four, wellness level three with Blossom and we are on wellness level two, writing level six with Coral. So both learning a bunch of stuff at slightly different rates. Also both starting to write about very different things. I know Blossom being like the young romantic girl is a little bit cliche, but I also just like, I feel like the way that I'm taking them, I'm not doing it based on gender. I'm just doing it based on how they've grown up and the things that I just feel naturally fit their personalities a lot which I feel like these things do. Once Blossom reads that book, she is gonna uh, end up learning quite a lot about her parents and see things a little bit more from Coral's point of view and his see things a little bit through his eyes. And yeah, he's gonna read that his sister's probably gonna get his heart, heart broken a bunch of times. So they've got all of that to deal with as well in the next episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Oh, but not so very. If you did, let me know in the comments below. If you like Coral's new hair, let me know in the comments below and I'll see you guys in the video. Bye.